Just about everybody's got an opinion or suggestion for stopping trucks from hitting the bridge over Onondaga Lake Parkway. That includes college students who are developing their own solutions. It's part of assignment. News Channel Line's Andrew Donovan live at the bridge. He sat in on the class earlier. Andrew, what'd you learn in class? Well, Jeff, we're four days into the fifth month of the year and already six trucks have hit this bridge. But who's counting? Well, the students and a professor at Syracuse University, and he's sharing that data with his students so they can all learn about this together and come up with solutions. I sat in on the final session of Professor Patrick Penfield's 400 level supply chain class at the Whitman School of Business at Syracuse University. This is the 10th year this railroad bridge has been an area of study in this professor's class. Here's what he had to say as long, along with one of his students. We see these nuisance bridges, and that's what I call them, you know, throughout the country, and people have come up with solutions, right? So there's solutions all over the world to these things. And I think it doesn't, it wouldn't take much effort and it wouldn't take much time, but you know, the DOT has got to want to do it. So it does seem a little silly. And the fact that they're just putting more signs up, it's kind of, it doesn't make much sense because the signs haven't done anything. It's just a little bit of insanity, just fixing this problem with the same solution over and over again. It sounds like that student is headed for a passing grade when she graduates this month. You know who's failing, though, in the mind of this professor? Both the CS, both CSX and the DOT. He says two groups that need to improve their response to this problem. Live in the town of Salina, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9.